Before we start this video, I will be dealing with high voltages at the end of the video. You should not mess with high voltage unless you know exactly what you're doing and you've taken the proper precautions and safety measures to make sure that you and your bystanders are safe. If you do not know what you're doing, do not try this at home. I do not take any responsibility for your actions. Stay safe and experiment safe. Now let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, got an old neon sign, open sign from work. I need to basically be harvesting the uh, transformer out of it and um, see if any of the tubes are still good. However, the tubes that are in here, I know one of them for sure shattered. This was attached to a much larger sign that um, got knocked down during a construction project uh, that the city was doing near um, where I work and they knocked our sign down. So. Um, pretty much I grabbed it because it was going to go to scrap and the biggest thing is there's a transformer in here I want to hopefully uh, harvest and have for some play time and maybe we'll mess around with the neon tubes while we're at it. So I'm going to try to figure out the best way to attack this and I think the first thing we're going to do is just try to take these screws out on the side and uh, see where we go from there. It's probably the wrong size nut driver isn't it? Yep, leave it to me. Do not have a flathead screwdriver. There we go. This might work. So let's see if we can get into this thing. Let me see where we can get. This thing's probably never opened in ages. I think there's some glass breakers falling up there, but we should be able to. Heading in there. Let's see what we got. That looks pretty simple. Yep. Here's the tube that's broke. So we're going to carefully cut out these other tubes. Nothing's even attached to the holders in here anymore. Let's see if anybody wants these neon tubes. So I don't know if I'm going to keep all of them. Go ahead and just do these wires. So a nice high voltage wire. Too bad there aren't longer lengths of it in here. and save some of these spring holders too. They're pretty cool. And there's part of the broken tube. It's kind of sad. Let's put that out of the way so I don't do anything stupid or getting cut on it. Someone's probably gonna yell at me and say, oh those, those junctions are probably easy to take apart. <laughs> okay. So what we got here, this one looks intact. Go ahead and take that one out. Set it off the side. I want to put some voltage through this and see if it still lights up. I think I have an idea for this though. I think I have somebody I might donate one of these to. So this is a group of people that are awesome, known as the Geek Group. Let's see if we can find a wrench here. That's probably a dumb idea trying to use the still wire strippers. There's another sign on the other side, but I want to see if we can't get some of this stuff loose. Uh, here's another. Yeah, you know, I should probably go on the other side first and get the other. Cut the other cable. Take a look and see if this side of the sign's damaged at all. If I can get the screw to turn. I always like watching teardown videos, and I tear a lot of stuff apart, so I thought I'll start making some of these. Now, granted, there isn't too much to talk about in here, but we're going to be at the end of this have some high voltage fun. There's some aluminum on here. As old as this thing is, Coming apart fairly easily. Sign out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and carefully start removing this side. Cable. Okay, so now our transformer. No, that's not jank. Um, so our transformer is isolated. So we can possibly remove him. Uh, I can't believe these are just screwed in here. Screwdriver for that. I don't want to tear up my wire strippers. One of these eye hooks. These might prove useful, but they're pretty rusted. The transformer overall looks fairly healthy. I am slightly concerned with the fact that there is uh, no ground hooked to the ground stud on the transformer. We'll see if we can't flip this casing up. I'll show you that here in a minute. See if we can lift this out. 
so we're gonna, and then we got a line here. So I'm gonna cut all the lines because I want to separate these pieces of tube. Get this off here, one piece. Without breaking it, it's probably fairly fragile. All right, so we've got an intact word open. This is so old, the paint's all cooked off it. I don't even know if this thing works, but we'll give it a try. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to go back and I'm going to drill out all these little holders. Or maybe drill out this just this metal panel here that has all the stuff on it. And then I can actually rebuild part of the sign if I so desire. Let's go. Oh, what a mess in here. Let's uh, get this back. We'll see if we can't get that transformer loose. All right, so we're back. We need a pair of pliers here. Let me try to lift this up. This one came off pretty easy, so maybe we can just wiggle this free. It's just slotted. It's still on there pretty good. Uh, Trying to do this carefully. I don't want to cut myself on this stupid thing. Feels like it's loose enough. I might be able to pop this bolt out over here. Guy free. It's really stuck in there. Pull these wires out. Thing's getting lighter just by working on it. Hmm. How to get that out? All right, so I managed to wrestle the nut free. It was so rusted, even with a little bit of love, it just broke off. So now we've got our transformer free, so we're going to wiggle him out. What have we got? We've got a transformer. Gaseous tube transformer, outdoor, non-weatherproof, normal power factor. Uh, catalog number 9030P. Output is 9000 volts at 30 milliamps. Secondary balanced midpoint ground. So, let's put him right there. Let me go ahead and lift this guy up. Get him out of my way. There's nothing else really in there. There's a bunch of dirt and some broken glass that I want. Save for maybe some of the aluminum off the frame. So, let's go ahead and make this maybe a little bit safer here. They really just wrap these wires around. Besides these terminals. I guess that's alright, but I'm not quite sure I like that. So, they're not even really tight. They're like hand tight on here. I'll go ahead and throw that back together for a minute. I'm going to get some just little leads here. And we're going to hook it up to the little safety box. And we're going to see if we can draw an arc and get some power out of here. All right. Real quick as we continue, before you ever, and this is a disclaimer, before you ever mess with high voltage or anything like this, you need to understand what you're doing, have the proper safeties in place. So what I've done is I've gotten, I've gotten the leads from the other Jacob's Ladder I made on my channel just real quick the one day to test out a different transformer. So we're going to head and just uh, try this out, see if it produces voltage. I've got the transformer grounded properly, I've got my safeties hooked up and my leads here are significantly far enough away from the casing and transfer. I don't have to worry about it arcing out. And even if it did, it should be grounded. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply power and we're going to see what happens. That arc is about an inch and a half when it reaches the top of those leads. Um, I don't have a proper chicken stick 
made up yet, so I need to uh, work on that so that I can mess with this stuff a little bit more instead of just sitting here watching it. And just for the heck of it, here's some more beautiful ARC footage. I almost forgot to do this by the end of the video. Um, I went and brought our high voltage leads and I gently tucked them into the ends of the leads for the one of these neon tubes here, so we're going to hit the power and see if it lights up. There we have it. It's a working neon light. Alright, I've gone ahead and stuffed my high voltage leads into the end of this open sign. So we're going to go ahead and hit this. I know it's not the most proper setup, and I hope eventually in the future to have a better setup, but for now we're just going to see if this lights up. Look at that.